We have special coverage tonight from New Hampshire and Washington. First, the polls. Let's begin with the Democrats in a brand new MSNBC Mason Dixon poll. It shows Barack Obama is now running virtually neck and neck with Hillary Clinton in the early voting states. In Iowa, where some recent polls have shown Obama slightly in front, our poll shows Clinton leading by two points, a statistical tie. In New Hampshire, Clinton is at 30 percent, with Obama at 27. Three points also now separating the two in South Carolina. But in each case, the gap between them is inside the poll's margin of error. We should also tell you these new numbers were computed before Obama introduced on the campaign trail what potentially is a very powerful weapon. Talk show host Oprah Winfrey, who today joined Obama on stage at a jam stadium in South Carolina. Tonight, they're both on their way to yet another appearance in New Hampshire. And that's where we start with NBC's Lee Cowan. Lee, good evening. Well, good evening, Lester. This is the final stop of the Oprah Obama three-state swing, and so far uh, they've been getting the biggest crowds that uh, Obama has ever seen, and that one down in South Carolina was the biggest of them all. South Carolina, I do believe he's the one to bring us the audacity of hope, Barack Obama. After enduring the ice and snow in Iowa on Saturday, Oprah and Obama brought their act to the sunny end zone of the University of South Carolina football stadium. We have never had a bigger crowd than this. Quite a picture for a candidacy that Obama is still proud to call unlikely. But, you know, Oprah and I share something, and that is nobody could expect that we would be on this stage here today. This was a first for Oprah Winfrey, who's endorsed a lot of things over the years, but never a presidential candidate. For the first time, I'm stepping out of my pew because I've been inspired. It was vintage Oprah, even with a hoarse voice, These making social times. satire. These are dangerous times. We all watching Dancing with the Stars, trying to forget about it. But I know you feel it. Don't you feel it? She wasn't afraid to use humor or her southern roots. You know, Dr. King dreamed the dream. But we don't have to just dream the dream anymore. We get to vote that dream into reality. She covered all the bases from Iraq. And he stood with clarity and conviction against this war in Iraq. To questions about Obama's experience. I challenge you to see through the people who try and convince you that experience with politics as usual is more valuable than the wisdom one from years of serving people outside the walls of Washington, D.C. Fans started lining up at 5 in the morning. By the afternoon, the line stretched all the way around the stadium. Most of the audience was black, in stark contrast to the mostly white audiences Oprah had been bringing so in in I Iowa mean. on Saturday. African Americans make up about half of South Carolina's Democratic primary voters. And Obama and Hillary Clinton are neck and neck for their support. Before I was kind of on the fence, now I have made a decision that I am an Obama supporter. We just want to listen to everybody first before we decide. The music was appropriate. Oprah may have brought in the crowds, but it was up to Obama to deliver their vote. Now, the campaign has to arrive by the end of the night. Oprah will have brought in some 60,000 people to hear Obama's message. That doesn't count the millions who watched it all on TV. Not bad for a guy who's getting ready to make his closing argument in his critical days of this campaign.